Hey, good morning everybody. It's Ned over my Philippine dreams. It's a beautiful morning here in Dumaguete City. And today my Uyab sister is moving into a new house. People are always interested in the cost of housing in the Philippines. So I'm going to give you an example of this place, which is only 12,000 pesos a month. And luckily it's only two houses down from where they live now. So moving all their property and all their stuff because they got a lot of stuff isn't going to be that difficult. All right, so let's do a quick tour. This is the gate, because every house in the Philippines has a gate. This is the wall, and it's got excellent glass shards all stuck in the top. That's some good quality glass sharding right there. And this is a duplex. There's a Filipino family that lives next door. It's got like nice grounds. It's in fairly good condition. I like it. It's also got a papaya out front, because you need papayas, man. So you get free papayas. The windows um, have built-in security grates, and they also got screens on the inside, and these are solid windows, so they're not like the Jalise windows, which are more difficult to hold aircon in. Now we're gonna get a lot of echo, because there's nothing in here. They haven't moved yet, they're moving this morning. All the brothers are down, the three brothers are down from Bacola to help with that, but we'll just have to deal with the echoes. It comes with the furniture right here, which is a kitchen table with six seats. It's got like, I don't know, I guess you could throw a TV up on there. It's a little echoey. It comes with a refrigerator. This is a Samsung digital inverter, so it is quite efficient when it comes to electricity use. It's got some cabinetry. This is the inside kitchen. We'll check out the outside kitchen a little bit later. Could use some cleaning, a little TLC. It's a three bedroom, two bath house. This is the first floor bathroom. It's got a shower in there. It's got the raised edge. You guys know how big I am. I'm getting a raised edge. It's got a sink, all that. And there's the door to the backyard, but I couldn't figure out how to open it up, so we're not gonna go out there. Also seems to come with a fan. So this is the first floor. This is where you had your TV, your living area, your dining room. And the temperature's not bad either. Uh, I like the staircase, although it could use a little bit of paint, a little bit of touch-up would be nice. But the stairs are nice. Let's go up to the second floor. And what's kind of cool about this is it has a little balcony on front. So you can come out here, have a little table and chair, have your morning coffee. The sun sets over there in that direction. So you don't want to be here in the afternoon. The house next door is really nice, and that house over there is nice too. <laughs> Very nice. So this little porch area, I like it. It's got a wall socket. You can come out here. And this area right here on the second floor, it's a nice big area. So that's cool. This is one of the bedrooms right here. These are what I like to call Filipino sized bedrooms. These are small, but they're easy to air condition and they're cheap to air condition. And again, these are solid windows. So these are better than those Jalise windows because it holds the cooler air in. They're gonna have to put some insulation up on this. It comes with two air cons. And here's another little bedroom. This has got some cabinetry in it for your storage needs. It's got a frame for an air con, but there's no air con. Oh, let there be light. And there was light. And the third bedroom is right here. And it has an aircon as well. This is the back facing bedroom. It's actually got a cool, there's a big nice tree. We'll go check that tree out in a minute. So if I was going to live here, I'd probably live in this room or the second room because the afternoon sun is going to be hitting the front of the building, front of the house, all afternoon. And on the third floor, they got the second bathroom. It has a water heater, which is good, especially this time of the year, because it's getting cold, burr cold in the Philippines. It's getting down to like 81 degrees at night. It's freezing cold. And the backyard, I don't really trust this thing. I hope it doesn't fall. 
but the backyard's got a big empty lot with a lot of shade, which is good for keeping the heat, the heat down. Next door neighbor with a nice house. They got a barky dog, but he's doing his, jo his job as a dog. He's doing his dog job. And there's no another empty lot. Look at this guy. Keeping the neighborhood safe. Um, despite that, that dog barking, this is actually a quiet neighborhood as the dog continues to bark. This is actually a quiet neighborhood and they don't burn stuff. So that's good. Uh, now we're gonna take a tour. We'll check out the exterior. With the dog barking in the background. Be lying, making me into a liar of everything I said about it being a quiet neighborhood. There's two of the brothers right there. They came down from Bacola to help. Um, so you get a lot of parking area. You can put a car out here. You get a little covered area right here for scooters. And that dog continues to bark. Got a faucet out here for washing your feet. And this is the outside area. Um, there's no dirty kitchen out here, but you can get one of those cheap bamboo tables and just throw the gas range up there. I think that's what they're gonna do. Dog, you're turning me into a liar. And they also got a lot of barbed wire. A lot of barbed wire. Concertina wire, one might even say. And there's the outside. So yeah. 12,000 pesos is about 240 US dollars. So, as the dog continues to bark, we're gonna wrap this video up. This is what you can get for about 12,000 pesos in Dumaguete. You just gotta look around. People say, hey, Ned, where can I find an apartment or a house? You basically just gotta wake up early in the morning, get on your scooter, renting a scooter or whatever, drive around and just look for signs for rent because there's not a lot of offerings online and the, and the offerings they have online a lot of them have been up there for like years <laughs> so you don't want to do that all right so enough of me babbling enough of the dog barking in the background and like i said despite that dog barking this is a quiet neighborhood hey buddy so and of course got some trash it's ned over my philippine dreams and i'll see you next time Bye. I gotta help move, move stuff. Actually, oh look, birdie. It's bird jail. There's a bird jail right next door. Love birds. Uh, hi guys. All right. Puppies, rainbows, and unicorns to all. Peace. Hey, if you consider our work to be of any value, consider supporting us on Patreon. If you're a Patreon, you get a free copy of my ebook and we do monthly Google Hangouts. So consider doing that, if you would please.